Hi guys. Okay, so we're going to do lithography on ceramics. Now, there's a couple of videos out there that tell you how to do this. So as far as all the technical things, you can go and look at those, but I'm going to tell you the things that they don't tell you, which is number one thing, when you're making your ink, which is made up of mason stain and linseed oil, I used about three parts of mason stain to two parts of linseed oil. They say, make it and keep it overnight, and then the next day it's gonna be beautiful. Well, that's a lie. Okay, so it takes about four or five days to really work. That will save you in so much frustration. That tip alone, you should probably send me a dollar. Okay, now the second thing that they do that I'm doing differently is they use paper. I went ahead and I bought what's called Pronto Plate, which is a lithography type of material. It is not paper, it is this wonderful little plate that they say can be reused, but I haven't tried it yet. So what I did was I purchased some images off the internet and um, I just went to Kinko's, or you can use whoever, we'll put paper through their machines, and just had some some copies made. Use a laser printer or even, you know, a laser copy or a laser printer. So you need to have the toner. Now, so now I have that. I'm going to put this cute little cat on this piece of clay. The best thing is to use like a soft leather hard clay. This is almost soft leather hard, but um, the Pronto plate is not going to stick to the clay like the paper will, which is another reason why you need a little bit more soft leather hard for the paper because the paper then sticks. This Pronto plate does not stick. It just peels right off, but you still need to have it kind of dry. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I have is my image, and I have my ink, again, that has been sitting for much longer than one day. It's actually been sitting since Sunday, and today is Tuesday. So however many days, no, I made this Saturday. So it's been since Saturday, so it's like four days. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of this and you're gonna put it down. Just if you, I guess you were inking up a plate to print. I'm not a printmaker, do you see Okay, so I've got my brayer and I have a glove on one hand. This hand doesn't really get too dirty, but they say wear gloves because you're using mason stains. It has metals in it. It's best to use a glove. We got one glove, doing the Michael Jackson thing. All right, so I'm going to load up my brayer you also, in the uh, the other videos, they say use gum arabic. I've spent a small fortune on gum, gum arabic. If you use paper, you probably need it. The pronto plate, you don't need it, so which is wonderful. To adhere the pronto plate to my little piece of glass here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water down, just so it sticks. All right, I'm gonna wipe it off. It had a little clay left over from the last time I used it. So now, I'm going to dry it. And this is a really pretty cool project. I'm uh, making some dessert plates, which I'm using different ones, um, all different images, not the same image. And this is a much cheaper investment than decals. Now I'll say that um, I did use it, I did on a low fire, and I actually put some underglaze down, and then I printed on top of the underglaze. It worked, it would have been perfect, if I would have used the Pronto plate, but I use paper, and so what happens when you use the paper is the ink gets absorbed into the paper, because your paper's porous, and then it sticks, and then when you make the print, it gets a little muddy. Don't like the muddy. I like the clean. So anyway, here we go. So now I've got a sponge, get some water, just kind of put it on there, squeeze all the extra water out, and then you're gonna just blot it. The first time you do this, it is gonna look like nothing's happened. You're gonna think, what? Nothing's happened. But just give it a minute. So you do this, you're gonna do this process three times. The first time, and probably the second time, I'm using this sponge that has clearly been used a lot of times. So I'm just dabbing, and you just dab over the whole thing. A lot of these pictures, I mean these videos are kind of unclear as to what they're doing. Um, and they are just going right over the image. They don't tell you this. I'm telling you this. Ink up again. Make sure you get enough ink, which again is linseed oil and mason stain. Now you see, the ink has attached itself to the toner. So less is on the background of the Pronto plate and more is just on the toner. So you wanna do this in one direction at a time, simply because you don't want that plate to roll up and get caught up in the brayer. Again, 
Doesn't happen as much with the plate as it does with the paper. And if you need my address to send me that dollar, just let me know. Message me and I'll be happy to. I'm saving you so much heartache right now. You have no idea. And maybe if you've been trying this, you do know how much heartache I'm saving you. All right, so now done it twice. Last time, I'm gonna ink this up. And you wanna make sure that you get all of that nice and inked up. See, when you're seeing this, you know that you've got something that's gonna work. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to use the, the really dirty sponge one more time. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a cleaner sponge just so I can get all this extra black off. All right, so I'm gonna ditch that. They also say add some gum arabic to your water. I'm not using any gum. Gum is kind of messy and expensive. So these pronto plates, I'm gonna now I'm gonna let this dry for just a few minutes. And um, because I want this to get just a little set before I put it on the clay, I feel like that kind of works a little bit better. Again, I'm not rubbing, I'm just dabbing all of the extra water off of this. All right, so while we wait for this to dry, um, the contour plate, this is about 60 cents at Dick Blick. And, and I really, I really do like it. Now, I'll tell you at Kinko's where I got these printed, uh, when they ran it through the machine, they used a tracing paper setting because their machine was a little fickle and didn't really want to take the paper, but it finally did after they did that. So tracing paper. Okay, so now I'm gonna pause and let this dry for a minute. Okay, so I decided that while we wait, I'm gonna go ahead and ink up another one. Wanted to tell you this, if you are using words, which I'm sure you know this, I don't have to tell you this, but when you print them, make sure that you reverse it so that you're looking at it and you might not know what it says, like I just didn't know. Um, and that goes for any image. If you really like the way the image looks, remember that is gonna be reversed. So if you want the image as you see it, when you print it, reverse it. Okay, so this one says ciao, which you know that means hello in Italian. Okay, so there's nothing on here. Here's my prayer. Here's my ink. Oh, see what I did? I went back and forth. I knew that wasn't gonna curl up. Okay. Using the messy one. I like to put a little bit of water on this first time because there's so much ink on here and it's easier to come up. Clean this around here. Kind of neat. I know you're thinking, when are you going to put it on the, the clay? I'm getting to it. Just give it a second. You have to be somewhat patient. You've just waited four days for that ink to be ready. You can wait another five minutes for it to be ready on there. Okay? All right. So, okay, you're probably thinking, hey, where do I look up on YouTube or where do I look up? Glad you asked. You can go to Ceramics Art Daily. They have a woman whose name I cannot begin to pronounce and she goes through this process she says that she can fire this at cone 06 all the way up to cone 6 I am going to go to cone 6 I've gone to 06 and it works beautifully we'll see what happens you don't only even have to just use like these line images that I have you can use photographs you can use stuff where that has some grayscale I've used that and it's worked out pretty well um, so it, it does pick up a gradient All right, you see how it's just going where the, the toner is. This extra ink I'm cleaning up simply just because it just is messy sometimes. All right. Use the cleaner water. See, I have two buckets of water. Um, oh, I forgot. I was telling you where you could find it. So Ceramics Art Daily, if you type in lithography on ceramics, you could find that. You could also, there's another woman who does another demonstration, very sim similar to the first woman. There is not one done with the Pronto plate. 
I believe that I am the only one that I can find. Now I've seen the Pronto plate being used for actually printmaking, but not on ceramics. So, okay, so now we're done. We're dry. Now we're gonna put this on my little slab of clay here. Once you put it down, that's it. You have to use it where it is. So I'm gonna put it down. I'm just gonna pat it down with my fingers, make sure it's kind of sticking to it. Then I'm going to burnish it with a spoon. And hope all goes well. And when I lift this up, there is an image left on the clay. So I showed this, and actually I'm making this, this video for a friend of mine because he called me, or he sent me a message and said, hey, how did you get those images? And I wasn't gonna tell him. I said, come to my class. And you know he doesn't live here, so I said, all right, I'll make a video and I'll post it on YouTube. So this is for you and you know who you are. <laughs> okay, so now if all goes well, when I lift this up, you're gonna see this image. And if you lift it up and you don't see the image, but I do, you can always put it back down and burnish it a little bit more. And you know, as you know, burnish is a fancy word for rub. I like using the spoon. I've tried a, I've tried a rib. I don't really care for it as much. So, all right, and look at here. Ta-da! There is the image. Now I like to with the clean fingers, not the dirty gloved finger, and just you know you kind of rub out this a little bit. You could actually, like I said, you could. Um, Put some underglaze underneath it. Let it dry a little bit though. What I did when I did the underglaze, I made the, the shape. I let it sit overnight. Then I went back and put the underglaze on it. Then I did the transfer on it. So that's it. Good luck. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if I need you need my address so that you can send me that dollar. And until um, next time, guys.